two days ago there was a heavy rain pouring down here uh, in Ontario. I got up at 3 a.m. in the morning to inspect the bus and uh, it was leaking from lots of places uh, and especially under uh, the, um, the windows. So now the plan is to remove all of those windows. Yeah, everything will be gone, all of those windows. And so that's the plan for today, so let's go back to work. So basically uh, what I have as a configuration in the bus from the, the plan that I, uh, I did, I draw. Uh, so here this emergency exit uh, window will be uh, moved to another place because here the fridge will be in front of uh, this window. So I will have to uh, remove it. So technically I'm going to take this window and uh, you don't you don't see it yet so let, let me switch from the other side these three windows will be basically uh, the bedroom area so what i will do is i will take this uh, window here i will put it maybe in the middle of the three window uh, bedroom on the same side and so the bed, the, 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 the window that I will remove will be put at the, uh, uh, where the window is broken. So that's the first dance that I will do with uh, the windows. Um, yeah, and then instead of putting another window where uh, the fridge will be, I will have a sheet metal uh, riveted onto uh, the frame of the bus. Let's remove the first window. Well, as you can see, it's fairly easy right now because I removed most of the tape. Not the tape, but the, it's kind of a, probably the same texture as butyl tape. So, but there's definitely not a lot. Not a lot at all. I, I can understand now why some of the windows are uh, kind of leaky. There's like a, just a little, like a little line of uh, of sealant. Not not that much. It's uh, not great. So I don't know if you will see it, but this. Is the line where the sealant is instead of being applied all the way through here I really start to think that old school buses seeing what I saw from uh, other school con school bus conversion um, it's not that well made actually they uh, probably cut corners all over the bus so that kind of sucks all right first window done removed I will have to uh, scrape off all of the sealant here a little bit here and there and on the side and uh, that's that's pretty much it so let's move to uh, the other uh, the other side remove the other window and uh, let's keep going So let's cut it. 
right here. Okay, so this is done. This one is removed, and the other one is here. Okay, and I didn't cut the white one, so it, this window would probably never have function properly if someone would uh, pull the handle so okay it's coming up pretty easy like I said there's a tiny tiny line of sealant window sealant so it's not very efficient. So what I would have to do is uh, clean up the window as well. I bought tons of butyl tape and I will put that everywhere. So this one is removed.
gulped. As you can see, I made a little scratch on the paint. The paint was not dry enough. Here, but it's on the it's on the glass, so I will remove it as soon as it's uh, dry. Overall, that's uh, the first time I'm doing this with a window. I have the second window to uh, to add to put, so I won't really film that much extensively, but I'll show you the result. The job is done with uh, by grinding the frames. It was uh, longer than expected, but uh, now it's time to paint. So I'm gonna paint the frame with this uh, rust paint. It's made for interior and exterior, for uh, bare metal uh, or brushed uh, brushed paint on the metal, rough paint. So that's what I did. I roughed up some places, I removed the paint on some other where it was easier. So let's, let's dig into it and uh, let's start painting. All right, so something that I forgot before painting uh, the frames is I want to uh, paint as well uh, the, what I call the frame cover. Let me explain. So this is on top of every uh, on top of every uh, frame. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So on top of everything, like this, like this, and like this. So what I have to do first is I have to grind this uh, just a little bit, uh, just to rough him up, and then I will be able to apply the paint. So. Now my job is to do that. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, I only have 13 times 2, 26 times this to do. Uh, and, uh, and as you can see, it's just this area to, uh, to uh, rough up a little bit. So it's not that bad. And uh, that's something that I will have to, that I'm gonna work on right now. Uh, it's still, the weather, it's still good outside. It's, uh, it's uh, 5 p.m. Uh, and uh, weather is nice. The weather is great, actually. It's supposed to be like that until Friday. So this means I will have enough time to uh, grind this. I, I'm not sure I will have time to start painting today because this rust paint takes a while to dry. It takes 24 hours before applying a second coat. Um, so I don't know if I will do it tonight, but thanks to the tarp still in place, 
uh, everything will be well protected so I will apply I will grind these areas these small areas and um, and tomorrow morning as soon as I wake up I just wash what's uh, what's on, on it uh, just to make sure that it's clean and then I, I'll apply the paint right away so this way I will have enough time to do something else uh, on the bus so uh, so that's it that's it for now so let's this time I will put a mask on because <clears throat> it's, uh, it's starting to get rough uh, because there's a lot of paint that I that I grind and, and, and there's lots of dust so I will put the mask on I will change I will, I will, I will not use this drill I will use uh, a uh, you will see what I'm going to use. <laughs> anyway, so let's go. Let's get back to it and uh, let's get to work. <clears throat> As I explained earlier, this is what I'm going to use uh, to sand this part. This and this and this and so on and so forth. So I'm going to use that. Just, uh, I think it's a 120 grit that I used. So this way I'm going to remove part of the paint but not everything and uh, this is basically the same thing that I'm that I will do uh, on the body of the bus <clears throat> but I'm gonna do this right here right now the other side and then tomorrow morning as soon as I wake up then I apply I will apply the paint the rust paint that I showed you and uh, and yeah that's it back uh, we are the day after and uh, let's check what I what I did with the paint so I, I'm not sure if you can pick it up but I can still see see the, the brush strokes so it's definitely not that great um, so I'm gonna apply a second coat of this this is the second coat of uh, the paint the matte black paint and it looks it looks amazing so I see a little bit of stroke uh, of painting stroke with the brush but so far it's it's doing good it's doing great so what I decided I just simply painted uh, the rest of uh, this metal metal plaque or well from the frame and uh, so I apply the first coat knowing that the second coat here again is awesome I love it so I'm gonna have to apply a second coat on uh, on for the rest and I also have to work on the other side of the bus but the other side is not send that this part is not sanded yet so I need to sand first uh, it, can, it, it will be probably an hour or so to sand properly and then I'm gonna start applying the paint the first coat as soon as I'm done I will apply the second coat on this one to have the same finish and maybe a third coat I don't know yet but uh, I'm, I'm pleased with what uh, with the result so yeah third coat uh, the second coat will be applied after the sanding and the first coating on the other side of the bus and uh, and that's pretty much it
All right. <clears throat> so now, now that the, the window is put back on, well, I just need to check if here uh, the seal is uh, correctly made. Sorry, it's uh, still a little bit dirty, but yeah. So I can see that the like here, for example. I don't know if you can see it properly. Uh, it's there's not maybe not enough light, but. Um, the beauty tape that I put on the bottom of the window is kind of squished now, a little bit squeezed, and it says we can see it here. So I can see it all along. And now, if we can, if we check on the other side, on the exterior, you can see that it is squeezed as well here and everywhere. So that means now I have I have a window prop that is properly sealed at the bottom uh, as well as on the side. And so what I need to uh, I, the final step I need to do is basically to add the window sealant on the exterior on the, at the bottom and on both sides. Uh, but before applying that sealant, I need to uh, create. I need to apply the frame, the wood frame, on the inside. So that's why I'm working on every window, on every windows. Sorry. <clears throat> and then, uh, as soon as I frame it properly, because uh, I have something very, very specific in mind, and uh, I need to, I need to design it properly, and I need to make sure that all of my plan work. So as soon as the design is put on paper and uh, <clears throat> and all the measurements are done, then I will be able to uh, create the wood frame, put the frame on top of uh, the windows, the, the, well, mainly the frame of the windows. This way it will apply and screw it. This way it will apply enough pressure and it will create like a perfect, uh, a perfect um, seal between the window and the frame of the bus. And then I will be able to remove the tarp. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So <clears throat> I will not film the whole process of putting back the windows together. Uh, you know what it is. Uh, you, you saw what I did. So I'm, as soon as it's done, then uh, I will show it to you. I will show you to you. I will show to you <clears throat> All of the windows back on. All right, so this was the last window that I put back into the bus. Uh, the frame was painted uh, with a uh, rust paint, it was primed, and then I uh, removed the, the old sealant to every window and put back new sealant on, at the very bottom of the window. Then I put some sealant um, onto the frame directly on both sides. And, uh, and that's it. That's, uh, that's pretty much it actually. It's, uh, it's all done. Um, so you may see this one not done yet and it's totally normal because I am preparing to delete this window so I've already prepared the metal but this will be for another video so uh, it took me a long time to really uh, to remove the windows and put them back on because Every time I started to work on something on the bus, then I found other problems that I had to take care before putting back the windows. And also because I have a huge tarp uh, covering the whole bus, uh, then I didn't really mind having the windows not putting back on uh, simply because uh, the bus is protected uh, from the rain, from uh, the, the snow 
Well, actually now we're in November, mid-November, and uh, it's starting to get cold. So it's, it's still a good thing that I put back uh, the windows, uh, but I still have holes because I have this hole, this window uh, that I will delete because the fridge will, uh, according to my calculations and my framing uh, and my floor framing, the fridge will be uh, on, on in front of that window. So I don't need that window. Uh, and then I have the two last window uh, windows on both sides uh, that I will delete. And it's because it will be the garage of, uh, of the, the RV. So that's it guys. I'm really glad that you watched the video. Uh, please, if you have any comments, uh, put any comment uh, below the video. Uh, if you want to like the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, this would be really, really helpful for me and uh, see you in the next video. Until then, bye guys.